Here we go. Here we go. We're back on track. We're back on tra track. Thank you for your patience this morning with the vlog. Since I started publishing the daily vlog at 5 a.m., only one other time in the last nine months has it not published at 5 a.m. The first time, it was YouTube's fault. I scheduled and it just, there was a glitch in the system, glitch in the YouTube matrix. Today, thank you, shout out to, the first place I saw was Dan, I believe, on Twitter. Shout out to Dan for letting me know that the vlog didn't publish. Then I went, I started getting messages all over the place, basically. I forgot. I forgot to, I, the, there's one last step in the publishing process where you schedule, so appreciate your patience there. Uh, it's 8 o'clock, so, oh gosh, that, that like kill, that, that, that breaks my heart because I know there's a lot of folks who drink coffee, watch the vlog, and anyway, apologize there. But we're back on track, onward and upward. All right, get my gear together for another mountain run. Actually, I'm going this way. Oh yeah, oh that coffee's tasting good. Okay everyone, so here's the deal. Uh, after the Pikes Peak Ascent, I've been getting quite a few questions uh, about whether or not I am a sponsored athlete, meaning I run for one running shoe company. Um, even though I was able to mix it up with, you know, some of the best mountain runners in the world at Pikes Peak, I am not a sponsored athlete and I frankly want to keep it that way. Like today is a Solomon and Hoka kind of day. If I was locked into one of these shoe companies or Nike or Adidas or Reebok or Asics or whatever the case may alter, the, whatever the case may be, like you're locked in and you can't even come uh, close. Like if you are spotted wearing some other shoes, that is a big, big no-no in the elite running world. So frankly, I wanna keep it this way where I can test all these different running shoes for all of you. Uh, so anyway, I am not a sponsored athlete, just wanna clarify that for folks out there that were asking over the past three or four days. All right, I'm gonna roll out and get the legs warmed up, but a tip of the day is that uh, if you are driving to a running location, oh, <laughs> hold on, camera low, if, there we go. If you are driving to a running location, you wanna roll out once you arrive as well, just because of the car ride, unless it's like a two or three minute ride, but I'm gonna roll out here at my house and then finish rolling at the location where I'm running today, which is Mount Morrison. That's right, Mount Morrison, Mount Falcon area. If you're from Lakewood or Denver, you know where that's at. It's a good spot to go. Actually, what am I doing? I'm gonna warm up on this guy. Woo. Legs are feeling good, I must say, everyone. Um, you know, I think, honestly, I think the weighted vest, not too often, like once or twice a month, it just kinda has set, I think it's set my legs up for some really good strength and um, adaptation to, ah, to easier, like yesterday was 14 miles with 5,800 feet of vertical gain. And I don't know, it's like my legs are not dead at all. Um, so again, just trying different things. And, you know, <laughs> we will talk about marathon training. Oh man, so many, so many of you are perplexed, but that's okay. Oh, that feels good. Oh boy, <laughs> notice anything different? Okay, remember I mentioned yesterday that my car was not doing so hot. Well, barely made it home from Long's Peak yesterday, but uh, I did make it home. Basically, the clutch is done in the Toyota Corolla. Uh, so, one of my family members here locally in Denver was selling their old Subaru, so I had it on my radar for the last two to three weeks because my cl the clutch is like, the, the Corolla is not worth as much money as it takes to fix the clutch. So I'm not gonna put more money into a car that's like, you know, on its way out. So anyway, decided to buy this car uh, from a family member here. It's a Subaru and uh, we're gonna get, and it's gonna work great. I think it'll do great getting me to the mountains, to these mountain runs. So anyway, if you're noticing something different, that's what's going on here. And uh, I won't, I won't list the, <laughs> the uh, number of old vehicles that I've driven in my life. And someday, True Love and I, we have a goal of buying our own, like a car that we actually want at some point, sooner rather than later, I do believe. All right, enough talking about cars. Let's get to this mountain. I know it's been a while 
Since we've kissed Or even since I've seen you And once again We went too long Without talking So I hope I didn't disturb you But it's Sunday And I'm lonely And I know 7.15's too early To be calling But this ain't all right, rolled out after the car ride here, feeling good. And it's a little toasty, but that's all right. Gonna drink a little more water, and I'm not gonna bring the camera on this first mountain, Mount uh, Morrison, but I will take it over to Mount Falcon, so. All right, let's there ain't roll, folks. no damn way I can love someone else like I loved you. And I know There we go, there we go. Well, that was tasty on Mount Morrison. I'll let you figure out what happened on Strava. I'm not going to talk about it. You can go figure it out on Strava. Let's just say competition is so good, so good for the human spirit. We're going to talk about that later tonight in the studio. And yes, Solomon crushing it with these S-Lab Sense 7 SGs in the 2019 uh, racing and training lineup. Okay, I'm switching. Uh, taking. I'm actually going to switch socks as well. So we're going to switch into some more Solomon socks, but taking out the Hoka Evo Speed Goats. And yes, I will get you first impressions as quick as possible. A lot of people are talking about them and asking me about them. But uh, listen, man, life is busy. It takes time to film and edit these videos. So um, I just haven't had a chance yet to get you first impressions on, frankly, a lot of shoes. But it's coming. It's coming. Thank you for your patience. All right, we're getting getting switched over here. I got to hustle a little bit because it's Labor Day weekend. Have a great, safe Labor Day weekend if you're in the United States or really anywhere in the world, of course. But uh, here in the U.S., we're celebrating Labor Day. And uh, you better believe I will be drilling, I think, later tonight. So that's nice. Save my lips for you. Sleep alone for you. I will wait for you. Oh, baby. There it is. All right. I didn't get too many shots today on the run. I was just getting her done. The family is hungry. It's Labor Day weekend. I'm in charge of grilling tonight. In fact, on that note, let's go get some charcoal. Oh yeah, we got the charcoal car cowboy up, cowboy up. It's already going to work. You ready for this? One, two, three. Oh yeah, chicken and burgers on a Labor Day weekend. That is what I'm talking about. Mmm, butter it, butter the bread, butter that bread. Can you wait for me? Stay true. For me, save your lips for me, sleep alone for me, cause I will wait for you. So tasty, so tasty. Ah, oh, good way to kick off uh, Labor Day weekend. Okay, competition, running, and the human spirit. Ah, oh, this is like such a big topic. I, I've never really uh, brought it up in the vlog and I'm excited to talk about it tonight, but I think it's just the beginning. We will be, it's, 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 it's a little abstract, you know what I mean? We can always talk about training methodology and lifting in the gym, but the spirit of competition and what happens inside of us when that uh, is evoked from other other runners around us it's it's absolutely it's slightly philosophical and i'm not a philosopher by any means but anyway we're going to dive into it tonight uh, as as best as possible today's run 18 miles uh 29 kilometers 4800 feet of vertical gain and loss and which is 1400 meters of gain and loss so a solid day and again if you want to go see the spirit of competition on Strava you can go figure out what happened today in the first three miles of the run okay what's happening here on YouTube is that I you guys are inspiring me as I mentioned in yesterday's vlog which by the way uh, a lot of people are enjoying kind of the cinematic approach some days just so you know I have more time 
to film with a drone and film with a gimbal and film more cinematic, beautiful shots. Today was not one of those days where I only got a few shots out on the trail. So you just gotta keep coming back and some days you'll, you'll strike gold when it comes to seeking beauty through film. Like, you know what I mean? It's, I just can't do it every day, but regardless, we still got out there and got the job done for all of you. And without a doubt, no doubt, the greatest moment of competition in my life in the last five years, really the last 10 years since, gra since graduating from college, was at the Dirty 30 50K last year, 2018. Many of you have already seen this clip, but I gotta show it again because I think it personifies this discussion around competition, running, the human spirit, and how we are digging to bring the best out of ourselves. And somehow, running does that, especially at the end of races, right? Even if the race is 50K or 31 miles. Roll the tape. All right, there you have it. That's right, a bloody finish. It was insane. I think, I'm just gonna say it now, based on my leg strength in 2019 versus 2018, I think I would have gotten in this year. I really do. Like, I just feel so much stronger and frankly faster. I don't know, it would be fascinating to go back in time and do it again, but it's that spirit of competition that we were both, we were digging, so we were fighting for third place and some pretty good prize money for third place at the Dirty 30 50K. And we were digging. And like mano y mano, shoulder to shoulder. And I think what's exciting is that uh, my brother and I and a couple other guys in Colorado, I'll just say them, Andy Wacker, Sage Canada, my brother, um, who else? Well, uh, there's a couple other guys probably, but then especially Joe Gray. I feel like we're creating this mountain running competition here in Colorado that's just exciting for the future. Um, and Joe has proven, proven year after year after year very consistently that he's frankly, he's the best mountain runner in Colorado and, and frankly in the United States. Um, and when I say mountain runner, I'm talking about uphill running. Like boom, let's go get some vertical but I'm excited for that competition moving forward. And again, check out Strava. You'll see some exciting stuff today that happened. All right, competition keyword and the question of the day, what do you receive from competition in running? And I don't, I almost said, uh, I didn't say, what do you benefit from competition in running? What do you receive? So you, got, you might have to hit pause, think about your answer. What do you receive personally through the spirit of competition from the runners around you. And I don't care if you're trying to break 30 minutes in a 5K. I don't care where you're at in your running journey. We're all at different stages of our running journey and we're all chasing down little, little goals and big goals. And so, but I think that competition from our, our fellow competitors is so critical for us to help, to help us uh, reach our, our little goals in our big goals, okay? So that is the question of the day. I know that's a mouthful for you, but try and digest it. I'm excited to read your comments down below. And if you wanna dive further into this discussion around competition, on the right-hand side is my running race blog playlist. And on the left-hand left hand side is the Dirty 30 50K full vlog, full finish. It's epic, go check it out on the left side. All right, I love you guys. Thanks for being here, thanks for watching. Another day, another day. Seek beauty, work hard and love each other. See you tomorrow.